Greetings and happy Advent to all of our friends at Azira. I'm Pastor Phil from St. Paul's United Church of Christ here in downtown Wausau, Wisconsin. I'm so glad to have you joining us for story time today. So um, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas and that's pretty clear because if you look behind me and on the side of me, you'll see that there are Christmas trees. And here at St. Paul's, we're gonna have hanging of the greens this coming Sunday. So we have to have the Christmas trees put up already. So they're pretty as they are, but it'll be even more pretty as time goes on. Well, my story today is called The Crown on Your Head. And this is by Nancy Tillman. And it's a fun little story. So let's see what it talks about because it's talking about the night that you were born. On the day that we met you and I put you to bed, I noticed a crown on the top of your head. It was made up of sparkling, glimmering things like moonlight and fireflies and dragonfly wings. And we have a picture of a baby who's sleeping in a bassinet. And by golly, there is a crown all around this baby's head. As the days came and went, it was faithful and true. He was that little baby. It's growing up now, but still with a crown on its head. I always knew just what your crown meant. It said that you were magnificent. And here we have the little boy with his crown and with even a train behind him that he's dragging already. That means you are grand from your toes to your chin. Take a deep breath and let that sink in. That's over the moon in a nursery rhyme. And look, there over the moon he goes. And it means like a star, you are born to shine. Blink three times and you are there. You are twinkling, little star. And here we have that boy riding on a leopard, don't we? Kind of an interesting picture. In other words, from your very first day, you were chosen to glow in a very big way with your crown made of glittering high flying things. You've got wind in your pockets and wishes have wings. You can run like you mean it. So let the wind blow. There's just no telling how high you can go. Did you, my child? I hope that you do. The world is a wonderful land waiting for you. And you get to share it with all of your friends, too. They each have a crown that is faithful and true. No one's is brighter, no one's is duller. It's only a crown of a different color. So sometimes, just every now and then, whisper, I believe, again. Your crown is your best friend forever and far. It tells us the story of just who you are. I like this story because it tells me that no matter who you are or where you are on your life's journey, that you are special 
You are loved and you are created in the image of God. What an amazing thing that is to know that you are the crown on Jesus' head. You're one of God's children, his very, his own. And that's important to know. So I hope you enjoyed the story. Simple little story today called The Crown on Your Head. Thank you for joining us today at Azura, and we'll see you again real soon. So bye for now.